and also some defense. So let's get started. All right, follow along with me, guys. We're going to start in five seconds. We're just going to start with star jump for 30 seconds. And let's go. The so star jump. Getting the body warmed up. We're going to go through 30 seconds of one exercise. Change it over and keep repeating for the full run. Move them at the pace that you're comfortable moving at. Just getting the body moving. Next exercise in 10 seconds, guys. Going to straight punches. All right. In three, two, one. And let's go. Straight punches. Find your stance. Try and find long punches here. Bring your elbows back. Hands back to your face. Try and turn your shoulders. Keep your stance. Move your hips. So from the side, to be moving my body, stepping, trying to stay static, relax your shoulders. All right, nine more seconds, guys. Turn your knuckles over, focusing on the front two knuckles, punching the target, and star jumps. Let's go. 30 seconds here. Yeah. Regulate your breathing, guys. We're going back to straight punches in five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. Find your stance. Keep your chin tucked in. Hands back to your face. Try and trace back the same line. Bring the punches back as you're throwing them out. Trying to circle your punches this way. Straight line. Try not to jolt your shoulders too much as well, guys. Nice and relaxed. Coordinating your feet and the hips. Turn the hips into it. Three, two, one. Star jump. Let's go. Last minute. And then one more set of straight punches. And let's go, straight punches. Keep it up guys, keep it up. 15 seconds, let's go. Shake it out. Well done. Have a little quick stretch if you need one. Just grab a quick drink. I'll talk you guys through the next round. So two more rounds. Similar style, guys. Have a look at next one. Our push kicks. So alternating push kicks on the spot. Lift your knees up. Support leg is flat. Deep. Swing the arms down. That's for 30 seconds. And then after that, we're going to go for uppercuts. 30 seconds over here. Keep alternating between the two uppercuts. Just try and punch into the center line, twisting the body up, elbows tucked in. All right, second round starting in three seconds, guys. And let's go, push kicks. 30 seconds, squeeze your core to lift that knee up. All right, so I want you guys to be keeping to belly height, making sure your opposite guard is up. Keep focus on push kicking with the ball of your foot. Nice straight push kicks. Keep your shoulders down and relax. Lift and then push to the hip. In five seconds, guys, going to uppercuts. Three, two, one, and let's go. Find your stance. If you're a right-handed person, bring your left leg forward and your right leg back. If you're a lefty, bring your right leg forward. So power side, usually we stand, bring the power side to the back so you can throw it more power. All right, let's go. Relax your shoulders, turn the body 10 seconds. For these speed punches, you'll have to bring your hands back to your face. Just keep them in front of you. Rotation, and let's go. First kick, 30 seconds here. Tall posture. Think about being really tall here. Trying to hunch over and make yourself small 
nice and tall. Keep, squeeze the core, lift. Then exhale as you push it. Chin tucked in, opposite guard tight. Going to drop both hands when you push kick. Make sure one hand's up. All right, uppercuts in three, two, one, and let's go. Find your stunts. In my striking stunts, guys, I'm doing these uppercuts. Try to keep the weight in the ball of your feet. Kind of doing little steps. You don't have to do little steps, you just turn on the spot as well. It's up to you. Come take little steps like me. 10 seconds, guys. Let's go. Palms facing up, the uppercut. All right, push these in three, two, one. Let's go. Last minute. Keep. Try to land, ready to go into your push kick. Try not to take too many little steps in between to readjust yourself. Just your step your foot down, straight into your push kick. Five seconds, guys. So one last set, uppercuts, three, two, one, let's go. Shoulders are relaxed, down the body, nice big feet. For two seconds. Let's just look in the sun in front of me, relaxing. <laughs> in five. Three, two, one, and pause. All right, shake it out, shake it out. One more warm up round, and we'll go through our shadow boxing round. The next warm up round, guys, having a look at um, your skip knees. So, this one you're gonna need a little bit of a wall. I'll just use this wall here. You're gonna lean into it. 30 seconds, skip knees, kicking one leg back, swing one leg forward, and then after that, we have our hooks, pop, 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 30 seconds. This one, bring one hand back to your face each time. All right, let's start our skip knees first. Driving knee straight into the center line, big skip back. Time is on. 30 seconds, guys. Try to point your toes. Stay in the balls of your feet. Only have one foot on the ground at each time. Um, similar to kind of doing skip knees in the bag. But if you don't have a bag at home, you're still in lockdown like that, you can always practice these against the wall. Tuck your heel in, to your bum, big swing, driving the knee up. All right, five seconds, guys. Go ahead and see the hook. Three, two, one. Find your stance again. Hook. Try and keep your elbow and your wrist same height. Let your foot just pivot. Turn, driving from the feet. Doing good, guys. Three seconds. Back to skip knees. And let's go. Then we bring that leg back. Be a bit confused. Slow it down. Here. Foot comes down, leg goes back. Drive. Foot comes down, leg goes back. Now find that rhythm. One more seconds. Three, two, one, and find your hook here from the side. Yeah. Punching someone your own height. Hold your ground. Fist strongly through the core. Try to pull away from the target. Sit into your hips. Three, two, one, and last 30 seconds. Let's go. Let's go. Strong core. Three, two, 
and let's go. Whoop. Last thing. Next six rounds, guys, going to shadow boxing combinations using all eight weapons. Keep it nice and warm now. Ready to go. Three, two, one. Resting. Whew. Hold on, guys. All right, let's have a look at our first round. We're going to start with jab, thumb, cross, and lead up the cut. All right, from here, stepping forward. Step, step, step. After that, guys, I want you guys to step off with a hook, elbow, and knee. All right? Let's start again. Follow along. Dash, cross, uppercut. Lead hook with the step off. Elbow, rear knee. And then move around. One more time. Again together. Jab, cross, uppercut. Hook around. Up elbow, and knee. I'll talk you through the technique as you're shadow boxing. For now, let's go. Time around. Step, step, uppercut. Hook and step. Up elbow, knee. And then move. All right? Some of these techniques you did in the warm-up. Jab, cross, uppercut, step with the hook, left foot steps up as I hook, catch my feet, find my elbow, up elbow like you're brushing your head, knee, and return back into your stance, and then you have to move around, find your rhythm, when you're ready, go again, jab, cross, uppercut, hook, step into your elbow, knee, and move, I'll just kind of stay around the space so you guys can see me, if you have more space at home, of course, Move around more freely, in between, always find your rhythm, soft knees, and let's go again. Jab cross, uppercut, knee hook, elbow, knee, and land back, move around. Try as you're hooking and angling guys, step with the left foot first, up to 45, catch your feet. So from here, I feel grounded, then drive, elbow up, and then knee. And the same thing, return to your stance. Alright, let's go. Jab cross, uppercut, hook. Elbow, knee, return, and move. Always tie your thighs in between. Try not to be rigid between your combination. Soft, soft knees. Ready to strike. Stay in your leg. And let's go. Strike. Time to leave your hands up as you're punching. Big jab, cross one hand goes on my face, uppercut, step off, elbow, opposite hands up, and then drive up. Pull your knee, driving up nice and tall into the ball of your foot. Alright, under a minute. practice in front of the mirror, making sure you're punching in a straight line, not punching across. Straight line, face your target. Kick. I'll get you guys to kick 
all the way through. I'm pivoting, heel comes off the ground. I kick, up, bump, so I just swing, swing the arms and just return back into your stance. Move around. If you want to, and look at your defenses in between, then go into your combo, nice and sharp. Step. Add your kicks in for more advanced guys, fakes. Add your filler strikes, push kicks. You're using that double jab to set up with the roundhouse kick. When you're stepping forward, double jab. Here, body weight goes forward. Easier to set up your kick. Try not to lean back when you're about to throw the kick. You feel like you're falling away from it. Just stay forward. Jab, jab, step, kick. And again. Really think about throwing this part of your hip. You have more space at home. Focus and really clean this part of your hip into the target. And again. You're aiming with the low part of your shin. Yeah. For more advanced guys, you guys can try this now. Halfway through the round, double jab, check first. So lift your knee in the inside the elbow, put your foot down, and go for a roundhouse kick. All right? So my more advanced guys, getting that combination really simply. Jab, jab, check, kick. And again, jab, jab, check, kick. And a run. All right, let's go. Not much space here for my kicks, actually. <laughs> Find a good angle and not hit the dog. Double jab, check, kick. Under a minute, guys. If you're still trying to find your balance for your regular kicks and your jabs, just stay with the combination at the start. Double jab, step across, kick. Yeah? All right. Keep it up. 30 seconds. Again. 
say this every video, guys. Time to switch up between the combinations. After you finish your combo here, don't drop your hands and then just go back to resetting. Stay focused. Stay alert. Move around. Imagine your target moving in your space. Try and face your target. Think about which exactly which part of the body you're trying to get. Not just shattering aimlessly. Make sure you visualize. Make your techniques nice and sharp. Chin sucked in through your boxing. Usually I find that after a couple of punches, head starts to come up. A little bit for a lot of me. Me, a lot of me. Me and a lot of my clients. So here, jab, press, up, cross. Chin tucked in. And let's go. Whew. Really warm day. Move around. Try and travel forward with those four punches, guys. Last 30 seconds. body kick on the left side okay so two kicks off the left and again jab target the inside thigh boom so i'm targeting inside thigh i'm fighting someone from the same stance as me if they're in opposite stance i'm just hitting the outside of the leg all right so inside i did two leg kick and then body kick just think that all right so jab leg kick body kick if you're doing this on a partner really think about the jab and the inside leg kick this that making isn't as hard as the body kick. I'm trying to get the score, bump, bump. So the harder hitting technique is the one to the body. All right, let's go, guys. Stay way forward, bump, bump. So I'm adjusting my feet back. After I go for the inside leg kick, bump, bump, bump. See how I move my feet there, bump, bump, bump. And I'm moving my right foot across. So it's easier for me to kick all the way through rather than just trying to kick on the spot. It really helps my hips in that position there. So jab, jab, inside leg kick, big body kick, and a run. Again, for those roundhouse kicks, guys, whichever side you're kicking with, drop the hands. Try not to do this, and keep your hands up, open up the hip, bring the arms down. Jab, inside, up, kick all the way through. And move around, reset. Find your space, jab, inside, up. If your stance is short enough at the start, guys, so here, for your jab, inside leg kick, you don't even need to take that little adjustment step. So if I'm really quite close to my partner, jab, I can just flip my leg up. Do so, or if you're here, hit a little step forward, bump, bump. Make sure that's really fast, yeah? Try not to take like a big movement and like show them you're trying to keep the inside leg. Go here, bump, flick it up, bump, and around. Play, find your space, bump, bump, bump. So was working on this yesterday and sorry. I'm just kind of distracting my partner, bump, with a low kick. You can do the same on the rear side as well. Inside leg kick, use it because you're less conditioning inside leg kick as well. After a couple of leg kicks, you really bring that focus down to it, trying to check you're not paying attention to the body kick after. 40 seconds, guys. Hop, hop, hop. Breathe out your strides. So keeping shoulders relaxed, you're not shrugging up here being tense. Try and have rhythm. Move your feet, move your arms. Twenty seconds. Time. All right, guys. Well 
well done. All right, let's have a look at some knees and elbows. All right, my hands are sorry. I'm getting the waist like at that length, which is hitting me the face. Okay, next one. Jab, lead up elbow, rear crossing elbow. And again, jab, from there. Step forward the up elbow, straight down the guard, twist, rear elbow, okay? One more time, jab, up elbow, rear elbow, from there. Push, long guard to the chest, driving me up. And again, jab, up elbow, rear elbow, make this one coming forward towards you, pushing away, long guard, and driving me up. And again, jab, lead up elbow, crossing elbow, from here, sit your weight down, push, me. Make that push really momentary, just like a little bit like a defense, bump, and then attack again. All right, let's go. Jab, up elbow, rear elbow, bump, and knee. For that long guard or just that defense, guys, hand comes up, knee hand up, and right hand, you can either have it next to your face or across. Yeah, cross guard. It's really up to you. Just try putting all together. Bump, 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 bump. Move around. Okay, in close range, hands come up higher, guard is tighter, chin down. Make sure depending from the elbows. And again for that knee guys, driving up nice and tall, so bring my weight onto the ball, my foot, driving up. So you can hit, let's say for this combo, um, belly, sternum, and even to the face. For the face one, just imagine your partner's really close to you and bring it under the chin. Up, straight up, okay? Otherwise, project the knee forward a little bit. Okay, again, so jab, up elbow, cross elbow, guard. Now from here, they're really close and you're rushing in, boom. Bring that knee straight up, or if they're just slightly in front of me, drive forward as you kind of walk through them. All right, pass halfway. And then move. To make these combos more complicated, a bit more advanced, you can always double up the knees or walk through the knees. So you can go jab, up elbow, rear elbow, defense, walk one, two, or from there, one, two. Yeah? Add that in as well. Otherwise, it's a combo, jab, up elbow, rear, hand guard, so up to you, walk in, one, two. straight away. Check, push, kick. All right, so rear, check, whichever leg is behind, that's the check, up, and push it straight away. And again, check, push, kick. All right, from there, guys, make sure that you check. Knee comes inside the elbow, foot comes down, push, kick. Now, I want you to walk forward with the rear leg, lifting your knee up, take a step into your lead knee. So, going to a step up knee. If you're forgetting that, that's okay. Just think about taking a step forward and driving your knee. Let's go. So, here, Check, teeth, recover first, and then from there, bump, bump, all right? I'll give you guys some advanced tips or options later on. Let's start with that first. So we're here, check, push, kick, reset. Try not to land forward with it, bring it back. And then from there, lift up, knee. So my guys are not too familiar why we lift our knee up, that's a fake. So we're faking, push, kick, so using that same motion, fake, draw a reaction, drive the knee up. If that's a little bit too complicated, just go check, land, push kick, land. Now take one full step forward. Alright? One full step, 
drive up and then get back into your stance as quick as you can. And again, check, teeth from there, one full step. Cool. My guys are familiar with the technique. Going check, teeth, arm, here, timing, fake, knee. From there, you can add on, for example, elbow, elbow, or another knee. I'll let you guys have a play with that. So we're here, check, teeth, stand back, timing, fake, knee, up, stop. Yeah, close that distance. Move around, guys. Try and dodge to you. Check, teeth, make sure we cover back the stand, relax, and then pop. Nice and explosive with that fake, boom. Moving your wrist. Halfway. This is my push sheet height here. See, my fake comes up the same height. So I really want to sell the fake. If I do it too low, there isn't much of that reaction. I'll make my partner flinch, draw a reaction, boom, and then go in for my attack. 40 seconds, guys. Check, teeth, and back. Fake, knee, from there, freestyle. Bam, bam, up to you. Traveling forward, and no point in this combo is going to lose your balance going backwards. Keep shoulders and weight over that front leg. Check, teeth, good, leg, up, hey, hey. Time! Woo! Well done, guys. That was our last round. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you keep up with it. Um, if you have any questions, just drop in the comments or you can message me, DM me at Hat Muay Thai. I'll link that below as well. Check out that page. I've got a couple of like technique videos, a couple of reels with some tips. Um, and yeah, just sharing my training journey and my coaching journey with you guys. It's been a lot of fun so far. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm gonna take the boys out for a little walk. It's beautiful here in Melbourne. It's so hey, funny. Um, yeah. Also, 